What is going on YouTube today? Um, we are actually going to be starting a new little series I'm going to be doing. So this is going to be called A Football Life. Um, this first episode, I thought I would talk about my childhood, my upbringing. Um, and basically, the whole series is going to be about what football means to me um, and the ways that it affects my life. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Like I said, um, this one's gonna be about my childhood and how I got into the sport of football. So when I was a little kid, my first sport was uh, T-ball. So on T-bar, T-ball, I was playing like when I was like two or three, um, I played for, I remember my first team was the Michigan Wolverines. I played like a good good ways from where I actually live now. Um, I actually played with, with my twin sister, um, T-ball. And during T-ball, <laughs> I would always tackle the kids, apparently. Like, that was the big thing that I did because I wanted to play football. Um, you know, eventually I did get a, get to play a little bit of peewee football. Um, but, like, even before then, I don't know. My first gaming console was a PlayStation 1, right? And my favorite game to play on there was NFL Blitz. And so I remember... Um, I remember walking around my grandma's yard like this, like putting my shoulders up because that's how I thought, I just thought that's how they got their shoulders or like that, um, play, like playing with the football, not even like really knowing what I was doing. And yeah, and then, you know, I got into my, to my peewee days. Um, you know, the first year I remember being so young, like, I don't know, I think it was like eight and under, so around there was when I started playing. Um, you know, I just remember being so young um, and being like a little kid. I had no clue what to do. One of the first practices, I came to practice without a like a shirt to go over my shoulder pads. <laughs> um, and then we eventually got me like a little practice jersey, right? And it was like so big that that was like my first season, right? I wore it. I'm pretty sure every single season after that, like that thing, I remember that thing smelling so bad. Like it had such a must to it. And this is like far before, like this is before puberty. So like that, I, I, I just made that thing drip. Didn't even have like body hair at the time. <laughs> but man, I loved it. I loved playing football as a little kid. Um, I made my first like all-star team at like, the last year that I was at eight and under, like the, the, the first like age group, the last year that I was at that age group, I became an all star. We went like undefeated. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of great memories with those and that coach. Um, that was such a cool year. And then the middle age group, so after I did all that, I got on like a really tough team and I played with a couple guys that actually went like D one. Um on that team and it's just like at that point I didn't really enjoy football but you know um I remember one practice my, my so my my mom was a single parent at that time so she was just like struggling um her and my grandma and my grandpa kind of like raised me at that point so they had like they did my laundry, obviously, because I was, I was still a little kid. I got still too young to be able to do all that. And so my mom forgot, like, <laughs> my shoulder pads and my helmet. <laughs> so I pulled up to practice in some, like, you know, the pants, and that's about it. And coach, and this is, like, the hard, like, the hard, the hard coach, right? And he's like, nah, you ain't going home. You still going to practice. And I remember... Like one thing is, is like you touch you touch his head, it's over, you know. So, so stuff like that. Which I don't know. I don't know if I would have like being put in the coach's position, I don't think I would have had me practice. So there was that. Then we got into um and that just kinda took a lot from the game. I actually after that, that initial season, um, the next year I got the same coach that I had, like all my younger younger days and so I I loved football again. We didn't do as well. Um, as we did when I was younger, but I enjoyed the game again, and then we got into middle school, um, and I was on some sucky teams in middle school, and then I played for my middle school team, um, and I never got to play, so, you know, I was a little fat kid, right, so I ate, 
ate and ate um my uh I ate my feelings a little bit so so a little fat kid <laughs> I didn't have any size to me so of course just like sat the bench um and then until like high school high school I, I lost a bunch of weight um my senior year and it's just like it's always been a regret that I didn't play football in high school but we'll see about that so but that's my story of how I got into football. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna do a couple of videos of these. This this first one's gonna be like the childhood one, um, and then we're just gonna keep doing different ones from there. Just talking about football, like my favorite games, um, watching football, how I got into Oklahoma, because obviously I live in Georgia. It's an interesting story. I like that. So, if you guys like that, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about it put them in the comment section and if you're not subscribed go ahead and do so put on that notification button all right and stay tuned